Ha 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 In Super Mario Maker 2, you can create the Super Mario courses of your dreams. And play courses created by other people from around the globe. In other words, you can basically have new Super Mario courses to enjoy every day. Now, let's jump right into the basics. Lay some groundwork. Pick from iconic enemies and objects, like blocks, coins, goombas, and pipes, and place them anywhere you like. You decide what goes inside blocks and where warp pipes should take Mario next. And that's just the tip of the goal pole. You can hide enemies, stack them up high, and biggen them with a super mushroom, hide coins and pipes, and so much more. By combining a variety of parts, you can do some incredible things, stuff that isn't even possible in regular Super Mario games. Taking a course you're working on for a test drive is a snap, allowing for rapid-fire experimentation. You can change the course theme, whether it's underground, underwater, Castle, your choice. Even the game style itself can be altered with options like Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World. Complete a course, and if you have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can share it with other players online. Super Mario courses are meant to be played, so share yours with the world. Time to showcase some of this game's new tools, course parts, and features. Just pick a direction and set the length to create a slope. It's a beautiful thing, huh? Gentler slopes are an option, too. Everyone's greatest fear, Angry Sun, is here. It holds a perpetual grudge, following and attacking Mario. Remember the snake block? You can determine its trajectory by freely drawing. And, woo, the blue one's really fast. Hit an on-off switch, and the red and blue blocks will swap. You'd be surprised how many uses there are. If you use them wisely, you can set up traps like this one, or even create a situation like this. Change tracks, or make conveyor belts change directions. Seesaws tilt left to right under Mario's weight. They're a perfect fit for risky, tilt-centric courses like this one. Let it grab you. Build momentum. Then jump. Mario can even use these to send himself flying. Huh, bet you could even make a crane game. In this course theme, you can freely set the water level. Maybe half the course should be underwater. Or maybe the water level should change over time? You can select from three different speeds. And water isn't the only thing you can flood a course with. This side scroller is truly customizable, right down to the scrolling itself. In a custom scroll course, you can decide where you want the scroll to start, adjust its trajectory, and set the speed at each point. The result is nice and smooth while you're playing. You could have it go up here, then go sideways. Hey, that's fast. You can now create vertical sub areas. Of course, the auto scroll feature operates vertically in here. To hide an area from view and prevent scrolling from revealing it, create a solid line of blocks perpendicular to the scroll direction. And voila, secret room. Bonsai Bill looks like it's coming for Mario, because it is. You can select from the four cardinal directions. The red ones have a homing function. Watch out. Even lava doesn't phase the dry bone shell. 
play dead for a sec and you'll be temporarily invincible. The 10 coin is worth, yep, 10 coins. Find hard to reach areas and tempt players. Feeling charitable? Use the 30 or 50 coin. Mario may just be strolling along when a sudden sound effect plays. There are a bunch in Super Mario Maker 2. Stick one on an enemy, or perhaps go with something more sinister. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, and you can create a course together on a single screen. A little creative collaboration goes a long way. Collect 50 coins. Defeat all the dry bones. Reach the goal as Super Mario. You can set clear conditions, and there are a wide range to choose from. From enemies to allies to items, a twister will suck up anything. Unsuspecting passersby will fall victim to the icicle. Hey, conveyor belts can go diagonal too. Did you know Red Yoshis breathe fire? Parachutes slow down the falling speed of anything attached to them. Watch out for Boom Boom. The mad lad will chase after you, swinging his arms and legs. And there's still more to discover. If you're not sure how to use something, try out Story Mode. In Story Mode, Mario sets out to help rebuild Princess Peach's castle. And to do so, he'll face an entire game's worth of courses in search of coins. Talk to the Taskmaster to accept a job from the bulletin board and play the associated course. If Mario can clear the course, he'll earn coins as a reward. Hey, rebuilding a castle ain't cheap. There are more than 100 original courses crafted by Nintendo in Story Mode, showcasing a variety of tools, course parts, and features. As you play, you'll see many examples of expert course design. As the castle's reconstruction progresses, Mario will be able to reach more areas in and around the construction site. The characters you meet in these new areas may even offer up additional jobs. New sequel, new course themes. Desert. Snow. Forest. And sky. There's new music too, written by veteran Super Mario composer Koji Kondo. Who else could capture the classic sound of the Super Mario series? We've also got a new course part that makes these course themes even more fun. The moon. Tap this icon here and day becomes night. If you hit the angry sun, Mario will lose a life. But if you hit the moon, you'll wipe out a screen full of enemies. At night, expect a surprise or two, depending on the theme. In the ground theme, Goombas will float. The underground will turn upside down. In a ghost house, the lights will dim. And in the sky, gravity itself will be reduced. The desert will get hit by a sandstorm, while the terrain of the snow theme will become really slippery. And the forest's usually pleasant waters will be as poisonous as they come. Rumor has it that some items will even transform into something else come nightfall. Once you've unlocked the night versions of themes, you don't have to place the moon course part to use them. The Super Mario 3D World game style is finally available. The way this game style works is very different from the other game styles, so the course you're working on will clear if you toggle between them. That's because there are things you can do here that you can't do in any other style. You can't mention Super Mario 3D World without Cat Mario. Climbing walls, scratching, sliding, pouncing. With all these moves at your disposal, the courses you create will instantly stand apart from courses made in the other game styles. You can even climb up the goal pole. These clear pipes can be placed in any shape you like. Be careful though, enemies will make use of them as well. Crates float on water and lava, so you can make your own path when there's no platform to walk on.
If you come in contact with a warp box, you won't be able to escape its pull. You may get warped to an area full of enemies. Consider yourself warned. Better not touch the spike block. You could combine it with the on-off switch to set traps like this one, too. The exclamation mark block extends when hit. Ground pound to expand it faster. Blinking blocks phase in and out. Make sure to carefully time those jumps. The track block will follow any path you draw. The blue one won't move until you step on it. The mushroom trampoline yields a satisfying bounce. The piranha creeper will extend wherever you draw. Watch out for its spiky stem. Skip Squeaks like to try and match Mario's jumps. Sometimes you can use that to your advantage. Take this sweet ride for a spin to really tear through the course. Just try not to crash it. Drive safely now. Beware the Lord of Lava, Charbard. This monster's obsessed with gobbling up Mario. Pom Pom smoke bombs onto the scene. This ninja's mastered the art of a doppelganger. Uh, which one's the real one? The Bonsai Bill from Super Mario 3D World can actually fly toward the screen. It's so powerful, it can break through walls. Many other familiar faces from Super Mario 3D World will liven up this game style as well. Course World is an online hub where players from around the world can share their carefully crafted courses. Browse by popular courses, or new courses, or run a search to find what you're looking for. For example, search by tags like puzzle solving, or maybe find some auto-scroll courses. Play a course, and you can leave a comment if they're enabled. If you download a course, you can play it any time, even when you're not connected to the internet. In Course World, each player has a maker profile. If other players like your courses, you'll earn maker points. But on top of being successful, why not be stylish? Customize your look with things like shirts and hats that you unlock by completing various objectives. Test your skills by trying to clear as many courses as possible before you get a game over. Select a difficulty and courses will be queued up at random from the full collection available on Course World. Secure some truly impressive scores and you might earn a top spot on the leaderboards. On top of that, there's a new mode in Super Mario Maker 2 that'll let you play together with others. In Course World, you can enjoy multiplayer with other players from around the world. In Multiplayer Versus mode, up to four players face off in a side-scrolling showdown. Each player will be assigned a different character. Then they'll race each other in a randomly selected course. The player who clears the course first wins. Depending on your win-loss ratio, your versus rating will change. Playing it safe is no way to win in a white-knuckle course like this one. Watch the others eat your dust as you escape an extreme obstacle. But when a boss comes around, you may want to put your differences aside. Maybe you can get away with sitting back and stealing all the credit at the end. During multiplayer, there are strategies to consider that would never come up during solo play. In multiplayer co-op mode, on the other hand, all players must work together to beat the course. If a single player finishes it, everyone's a winner. If up to four players are hanging out together and each has a Nintendo Switch system and the Super Mario Maker 2 game, one can set up a virtual room for the others to join via nearby play. Only the player who makes the room needs a persistent internet connection for everyone to play. You won't be rated in this mode, but you can check out the standings.
By the way, if you've designed a course with Versus Play in mind, consider using the Multiplayer Versus tag. It's a great way to help players who love to battle it out find what you've made. of new ways to have fun. <laughs> 